Say, Jefferson, are you asking to come into my house? No, Bunker. I wouldn't come in there, not even if you got down on your hands and knees and sang Mammy. <laughs> Hello, this is Liberty Bell Reacts, and today, Leroy and I are going to be watching Archie Bunker from All in the Family meet George Jefferson for the very first time. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video because you never know what I'm going to do. I got something to say. <laughs> Uh, gather on, everybody. I'm going to make a toast to Archie. Oh, nice. A toast for my daddy. It's been a great experience living on this street and watching this wonderful family of Edith, Gloria, and Mike. I want to thank you, Bunker, for letting me know and letting me see that uh, some white folks are better than other white folks. <laughs> I wish the whole world could learn that. <laughs> Archie, why don't you toast Henry now? All right, I will. Hey, you know, ain't nobody making no toast to my brother but me. Who the hell is that? That's Bob. Oh, let me get that. Get away from the door, meathead. Get over there. Get over there. Archie, let eat, him eat, in. Eat, eat, eat it. Back, back. I'm excited to see what's going to happen right now because... <laughs> Archie Bunker and George Jefferson are like two titans. I think they're both a bit full of themselves. They're over the top characters. And <laughs> shall we say they make a lot of unnecessary assumptions about people. <laughs> this is funny because at first I thought that this older black guy here was George Jefferson. And maybe this was just the first casting. And they changed the actor later, but I guess not. I guess this is George Jefferson's brother. Archie, why don't you toast Henry now? All right, I will. Hey, you know, ain't nobody making no toast to my brother but me. Who the hell is that? That's Bob. Oh, let me get that. Get away from the door, meathead. Get over there. Get over there. Archie, let eat, him eat, in. Eat, eat, eat it. Eat it. Back, back. <laughs> I'll handle this. Hey, Jefferson, are you asking to come into my house? No, Bunker. I wouldn't come in there, not even if you got down on your hands and knees and sang Mammy. <laughs> Hey, Jefferson, I don't blame your kid brother for leaving home. If I was your brother, I'd leave home, too. If you was my brother, I'd cut my throat. <laughs> if I was your brother, I'd give you the knife. <laughs> oh, come on here, Bob. Save your breath, Lionel. I wouldn't come in there if he was the last white man on earth. <laughs> watch this, watch this. Ha <laughs> ha, you're in. No, I ain't, I'm out. If you're on my stoop, that's the same as being in my house. Stoops don't count. Stoops always count. Stoops never count. Don't turn your back on me. Oh, there you are. Now you're in. You're in for sure. So finally, the great Jefferson, who always reclined to cross my threshold, is into the house. All it up with a flower in his lapel there. Or is that one of them things that's squeaking your rod? No, it's weird. <laughs> I wear a fresh one every day. Ah, you don't blow money on a fresh flower every day. No, I steal one every day from a blind flower girl. Oh, he's joking. George, they don't know you here. He's joking. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love them going back and forth with each other. The insults are just, are just too much. They're kind of like carbon copies of each other. Louise. <laughs> I'll tell them when I'm joking. I was joking. <laughs> Bunker, I'm just going to say what I have to say to my brother and get out. I'll gladly hold a dog here. <laughs> Henry, when I was a kid, I was always asking mom for a brother. You know how poor we was. So all we could afford was you. Oh, George. <laughs> Never interrupt a man when he's toasting. Henry, all kidding aside, the trouble with being a brother is that sometimes you can't always say the things that you really feel. You know, like how good it is to have somebody around to rap to, or somebody to kind of pick you up, you know, when you're so low that you have to reach up to touch bottom. Or, you know, I'm not much of a talker. But there's one thing that needs to be said. I love you, brother. Oh, man, you're always doing that, stealing everything that's mine. Say what? I was going to toast those very words to you myself. Oh. Yeah. Black families don't feel love, huh, Arch? Why is it you can always remember everything except how to work? <laughs> 
like that anymore. And I guess, you know, unless you're like in your maybe 50s or 60s, you've never seen comedy like that ever. <laughs> I am familiar with this show and I believe that the writers were attempting to do social programming and they're out here to win hearts and minds and to poke fun at Archie Bunker, who is a very bigoted individual. So they poke fun at him and show him the error of his ways. And in this way, it's social programming. It's a bit heavy handed at times, but they did it in a way that is still entertaining. And I think that that is something that we kind of miss today. See, there's a lot of social programming going on in TV shows, but today's social programming, they've kind of lost the mark. They've forgotten that they're supposed to be entertaining, not just telling you what they believe and what you should believe. You can do that in a good way, and that's what this is. There's definitely a lot of jaw-dropping humor in this, and it's not for the faint of heart. Particularly the part at the end where Archie Bunker doesn't seem to understand that black people love their families too. <laughs> oh, wow. That's really funny. Does this type of humor go too far? If you think it does, please let me know about it in the comments section below. If there are any more clips from All in the Family you'd like me to react to, please leave them in the comments section below. If there are any other comedy bits by any other comedians you'd like me to react to, please Leave those in the comments section below as well. This has been Liberty Bell Reacts, and thanks for watching. Oh, good boys get treats. Good boys get treats. Oh, treats for good boys. I love good boys.